Missed you this morning, Doc. Get in the Animus. Climb tall structures to gain a bird's eye view of your surroundings. Tall buildings can be used to orient. Come in, Altair. I trust you're well rested? Ready for your remaining trials? I am, but I'd speak with you first. I have questions. Ask them. I'll do my best to answer. The Merchant King of Damas murdered the nobles who ruled his city. Mejdeddin in Jerusalem used fear to force his people into submission. I suspect William meant to murder Richard and hold Akka with his troops. These men were meant to aid their leaders. Instead, they chose to betray them. What I do not understand is why. Is the answer not obvious? The Templars desire control. Each man, as you've noted, wanted to claim their cities in the Templar name, that the Templars themselves might rule the Holy Land and eventually beyond. But they cannot succeed in their mission. Why is that? Their plans depend upon the Templar treasure, the Peace of Eden. But we hold it now, and they cannot hope to achieve their goals without it. What is this treasure? It is temptation. It's just a piece of silver. Look at it. What am I supposed to see? This piece of silver cast out Adam and Eve. It turned staves into snakes parted and closed the Red Sea. Eris used it to start the Trojan War, and with it a poor carpenter turned water into wine. It seems rather plain for all the power you claim it has. How does it work? He who holds it commands the hearts and minds of whoever looks upon it, whoever tastes of it, as they say. Then Gagne's men? An experiment. Herbs used to simulate its effects, to be ready for when they held it. Talel supplied them. Tamir equipped them. They were preparing for something. But what? War. And the others, the men who ruled the cities, they meant to gather up their people, make them like Gagne's men. The perfect citizens, the perfect soldiers, a perfect world. Robert de Sable must never have this back. So long as he and his brothers live, they will try that they must be destroyed. Which is what I've had you doing. There are two more Templars who require your attention. One in Akka, known as Sibran. One in Damas, called Jubair. Visit with the Bureau leaders. They'll instruct you further. As you wish. Be quick about it. No doubt Robert de Sable is made nervous by our continued success. His remaining followers will do their best to expose you. They know you come, the man in the White Hood. They'll be looking for you. They won't find me. I'm but a blade in the crowd. Here, my gift to you, in gratitude for the good work you've done. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. The work of a master. And that, my students, is how we all should fight. Infidels! Infidels! 
You must be busy. I understand. Focus on your target. Use the scholars you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. It's the hero of Damas. Come in, stay a while, tell me all about your adventures. I'm afraid I don't have the time. I see. Too important for me now. It's not that. No, no, of course not. How may I serve you then? Al Muallam has asked I take the life of the one they call Jubayer. Ah, Salah Adin's chief scholar. Strange choice of target, in my opinion. But who are we to question the master's will? I'm sure he has his reasons. Then you're familiar with the man. He's been quite busy these past few days, organizing the scholars and sending them into the streets to preach. What do they speak of? Light and fire. Cleansing sins, apocalyptic nonsense if you ask me. All this talk of paths and a new world. What about this new world? Couldn't say, I don't pay attention to the ramblings of madmen. Much too busy with real work. Very well. I'll walk among the people, see what I can learn. Where would you suggest I search? South of here you'll find an academy and a guard tower. They're both good places to search. There's also a hospital to the east you might want to visit. I'll begin at once. So eager! You've certainly changed, and for the better, I might add. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bad news, brother. I killed a Templar this morning. Well, I suppose that's actually good news. I even found a letter on him which I gave to Namayir, who said he'd find you and deliver it. But from the look on your face, I suspect this hasn't happened. Go on then. Don't waste any more time with me. Seek to my ear and get that letter. Hırsızlar garajına müstahaktır. Here, here, take this. I've been looking everywhere for you. Now I can finally return to Masyaf. Last time I offered to do someone a favor. Trespass here. Come no further. No, you don't understand. I have nothing. I have nothing. Get it on Ah! 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 
I wish to see him, to hear him speak. It can be arranged, but we must be careful. There are still those who reject illumination. They would harm him. Then they are ignorant and afraid. You seem sincere, but how do I know I can trust you? It hurts me to even hear you ask the question. Very well. We gather each day in the madrasa. He comes to speak, and then leads us into the city that we might cleanse it. Could I join you then? Understand that it is a difficult path we walk. Our work demands sacrifice. I understand. Then come and meet with us. Let us see how strong you really are. Thank <laughs> you. 
Found the place. It's just as you described it. I suspect he'll want to deal with this himself and quickly. Best we say nothing to the others. A wise course of action. Truth be told, I'll be happy when this business is done. Soon, my friend, soon. Today should see the last of them put to torch. Boy, come here. You still have the letter I gave you? Yes. Go and deliver it then. You'll find the one it's meant for inside the madrasa. Make no mistake. It is our very existence we are fighting for. The infidel king would see us all wiped from the world. We must resist. 
We must push back! Fathers dwelled in darkness, and their fathers before them. It does not mean we must as well. This is our chance to begin anew. Let Jubayer lead you to revelation. Let him lead you to the light. Though our fathers dwelled in darkness, and their fathers before them, it does not mean we must as well. This is our chance to begin anew. Let Jubayer lead you to revelation. Let him lead you to the light! Jubayer sees things the way they truly are. Sees the poison you carry in your hearts and minds. He works to cast it out. Remove all texts from your homes and schools. Give them to us. They must be destroyed. about you turn around and go away? Violence is not the answer, my child. In this we agree, so speak and I may stay my blade. What is it your master intends? Why destroy all this knowledge? We lay the stones to build a road upon which soon all men will travel. It leads to a better tomorrow. That is not what I see. Then you are blind. The words upon these parchments, they are poison. Jubayer holds the cure. He'll free us from their lies. It's nonsense you speak. You've lost your mind. No, not lost, but found. I see the world for what it truly is. He has shown me so much. I am illuminated. The fanatic is all you are, and dangerous for it. Do what you must. It changes nothing. We are not afraid. You should be. What news, Altair? I've learned much about my enemy. Share what you know, then. Jubayer has become obsessed with purging the city of its knowledge. A most terrible crime. Now I see why al Mualim wants you to remove him. He's using the city scholars to assist him. They go out into the streets, harassing the people and collecting all their written works. I fear he intends to destroy them all. He must be stopped. That's why I'm here. He's to hold a meeting soon at the Madrasa al Qalasa. It's where I'll go. It's where I'll take his life.
leave you alone to prepare. Bring glory to the Brotherhood. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Every single text in this city must be destroyed. My friend, you must not do this. Much knowledge rests within these parchments, put there by our ancestors for good reason. And what reason is this? They are beacons meant to guide us, to save us from the darkness that is ignorance. No, these bits of paper are covered in lies. They poison your minds, and so long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. How can you accuse these scrolls of being weapons? They are tools of learning. You turn to them for answers and salvation. You rely more upon them than yourselves. This makes you weak and stupid. You trust in words, drops of ink. Do you ever stop to think of who put them there? Or why? No, you simply accept their words without question. And what if those words speak falsely, as they often do? This is dangerous. You are wrong. These texts give the gift of knowledge. We need them. You love your precious writings. You do anything for them? Yes. Uh, yes, of course. Then join them. Ah! Ah! Any man who speaks as he is just as much a threat. 
Do any else among you wish to challenge me? Good! Your orders are simple enough. Go out into the city. Collect any remaining writings and add them to the piles in the streets. When you're done, we'll send a cart to collect them, that they may be destroyed. of the past.
Away with you. Centuries. We've for centuries. We've quietly acquiesced. Agreed. Hit. All the words of their hands long since the shot. Absent 
logic and evidence, we submit for no other reason than we are told our ancestors did the same. This ends today. For centuries, we've quietly acquiesced, agreed to believe based on nothing more than the words of men and women long since gone to dust. And why? Why? Damas, you are doing the right thing. Let us cleanse this city of its poisoned past. Well, this is a righteous... Good people of Damas, you are doing the right thing. Let us cleanse this city of its poisoned past. This is a righteous act. And from the flames shall be born a new era, one of truth and unity, governed... You have no business here. Leave. Good people of Damas, you are doing the right thing. We have been poisoned. This is a righteous act, and from the flames shall be born a new era, one of truth and unity, governed by a singular wisdom. On the river! He must be stopped. be free to do what they believe. It is not our right to punish one for thinking what they do, no matter how much we disagree. Then what? You of all people should know the answer. Educate them. Teach them right from wrong. It must be knowledge that frees them, not force. They do not learn, fixed in their ways as they are. You are naive to think otherwise. It's an illness for which there is but one cure. You're wrong. And that's why you must be put to rest. Am I not unlike those precious books you seek to save? A source of knowledge with which you disagree, yet you are rather quick to steal my life. 
A small sacrifice to save many. It is necessary. Is it not ancient scrolls that inspire the Crusaders? That fill Salah Adin and his men with a sense of righteous fury? Their texts endanger others, bring death in their wake. I too was making a small sacrifice. It matters little now. Your deed is done. And so am I. Altair, tell me you've met with success. Yes. Jubayer's fires are extinguished. His life as well. Excellent news. I had no doubt you'd succeed. You should have seen it. The scholars followed him so readily. It wasn't just books they fed to fire either, but any man who opposed them. Such ignorance breeds only evil. You've done a good thing this day. As with my other targets, he believed he was doing the right thing, clearing a path to a better future. Of course he would. Such is the landscape of a madman's mind. The things I've seen these past few weeks. It's as if all the land has gone mad. And this is why we fight to end the war. That sanity might return. The people are desperate for direction. It's easy for men like Jubayer to prey on this and turn them towards evil. You should go, Altair. Return to Al Malim. Tell him what you saw. Let him know the good you've done this day. Safety and peace, Rafiq. Upon you as well. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. When you're out of knives, refill your stock by returning to Messiah or by pickpocketing thugs. Welcome home, child. What news? Another of the named is put to rest. Then it would appear your work is nearly complete, and your status restored. A question, Master, if I may. Ask, and I will answer. Why these men, Jubayer and Sabrand? Ah, don't you see? They paved the way for change. Ensure threats both old and new are not given cause to intervene. To weaken them is to weaken our enemy. I suppose that makes sense. Were these men to continue their work, our work would quickly be undone. How is that? We've caused them much grief. We strike at the arms, yes. But this is a hydra that you face, and it is quick to replace that which is severed. Then we should lop off its head and be done with this. Soon. Soon. We are close. Only one more man stands between us and our ultimate goal. I will return to my work. The sooner this last man dies, the sooner I might face our true enemy. Before you go, I have a question for you. Of course. 
What is the truth? We place faith in ourselves. We see the world the way it really is, and hope that one day all mankind might see the same. What is the world, then? An illusion. One which we can either submit to, as most do, or transcend. What is it to transcend? To recognize nothing is true and everything is permitted. That laws arise not from divinity but reason. I understand now that our creed does not command us to be free. It commands us to be wise. Do you see now why the Templars are a threat? Whereas we would dispel the illusion, they would use it to rule. Yes, to reshape the world in an image more pleasing to them. That is why I sent you to steal their treasure. That is why I keep it locked away. And that is why you kill them. So long as even one survives, so too does their desire to create a new world order. Take your equipment. Seek out this last man. With his death, Robert de Sable will at last be vulnerable. It will be done. Safety and peace upon you, Altair. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. You must be busy. I understand. your time. When moving slowly, you reduce your chances of attracting unwanted attention. Greetings, Altair. What news? Al-Muallim has named another. Calls himself Sabrand. I am familiar with the man. Newly appointed leader of the Knights Teutonic he resides in the Venetian Quarter, and runs Akka's port. I'll start my work at once. Here are the places where you should focus your search. On the docks east of here, among the ships and their crews. At the chapel to the northeast, near the cross overlooking the port. And to the north, in front of St. John's Gate. This is most helpful. My thanks for the guidance. Altair. Yes, Rafiq. I owe you an apology. For what? for doubting your dedication to our cause. No, it was I who erred. I believe myself above the creed. You owe me nothing. As you wish, my friend. Go in safety.
come no further.
I hear you're looking for information on Sibran. Karm's found something you'd probably find useful. Best track him down if you want it. You'll find everything here, my friend. You were not allowed to be here. <laughs> Safety and peace, brother. I've been looking everywhere for you. I stole this letter earlier today. Read it over. Hopefully it'll be a use. Stop. You must not trespass here. <laughs> Sibran, exalted leader of the Knights Teutonic. All crew members are to be turned over to the order for conscription into the fleet. All dock vessels must be cleared of crew and cargo. Captains are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic order for reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely! I'm only following orders. If you want your ship back, speak with the court. That's not what I'm after. Then what? Sabran's claimed near a hundred ships. For what purpose? A blockade. They're to sail for open water and establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah Hadin intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
You tell him I said no. I won't have you damn soldiers poking about in my business. Listen here, old man. No, you listen to me. This is my property, not his. I don't care if Christ himself put the man in charge. He isn't asking. It's in order. <laughs> That's rich. The man couldn't order his way out of a burlap sack. I've seen the mess he's made of the docks. I won't let him ruin mine. Just read the letter. You'll see his terms are quite generous. I grow tired of this. Look, I'll consider what he has to offer, but I doubt it'll change my mind. Now go on, get out of here! Einmal schon habt ihr ihn. Greetings, brother. How fares your search? I've learned all there is to know about my target. Share your knowledge with me, then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al-Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Of course, Rafiq. But I think it will be to my advantage. Fear will weaken him. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one.
gonna stop this nonsense. Leave, peasant. Is there a reason for his nonsense? Leave, peasant. He hurts himself. me. I'll see to it that the favor is returned. Mistaken, Master Sibrand, I would never propose violence against any man, and, and most certainly not against you. So you say, and yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Perhaps. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! You wear the same robes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing, which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, defiant to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident, and they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, then truly the Creator will provide for you. Let him stay my hand. You've gone mad. Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. 
Seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Arkle! Stay vigilant, men. Report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards! Now get back to work! Afraid. Of course I am afraid. But you'll be safe now, held in the arms of your god. Have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof of what? That this life is all we have. Linger a while longer then, and tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea. To keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we... Once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool. From the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities. Control men's minds murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders, believing in my cause, same as you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life is ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps? but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al-Mu'alim can help you to make sense of it. Yes. 
Perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. 